Howdy y'all, welcome back to Cam Shark Productions. Uh, today I have a little treat in store for you. I am setting up my first initial hot tent. Um, I was gifted a hot tent stove and I recently went on to Amazon and purchased the One Tigress Rock Fortress. So I have only taken this out of the plastic. I haven't unboxed anything yet. So I'm gonna give you guys my initial review and setup of the One Tigress Rock Fortress hot tent uh, on a very snowy, crazy day. Let's see if we can get this thing rolling. <laughs> Okay, so the instructions say to find the doors and stake out those points first. So here is my first door. And these are my door staked out points. So we're gonna stake those down very first. So in staking this thing out, uh, you really want to think about what position your doors need to be in. Um, and the snow is going to be blowing from the west, southwest, which is this direction. So I want my doors to face opposite directions. Now I need to come to this side and find my other doors, which are right here. Okay, now our instructions say take out and stake out the rest of this. So, get that. All right, so. Now that I have my door staked down, the next point is to go through and get each one of these loops staked out. And again, I'll go through and hammer them down, but right now I just figure it's a good idea to see how many stakes I need. So we'll uh, go around, get those in. All right, y'all. So uh, I got it staked down. It's actually in there. It looks a little ski wampus to me, but now I gotta put the center pole in and see what I have to adjust after that. So let's raise the center pole and see what happens. did something very wrong. I'm going to have to turn this off and readdress and figure out what I did. I made it too tight, too short somehow. I don't know. We'll see. All right, y'all. So uh, it took me a lot longer than I thought to get this thing set up, um, but I do have the tent set up. I'll show you a little bit more here, um, but you can see that I did just install the Velcro stove jack. So it just pops out, just Velcro's in, um, and you just want to make sure that you have a really good seal. So now that we got that in, let's see what the stove looks like. All right, y'all. So I did finally get the One Tigress Rock Fortress up. Um, it was a chore to figure out the first time for sure. Um, you've got to stake out the doors, put the pole in and then move everything out to the side. So you start with the doors and then you slowly pull everything out. Um, and all of your guidelines have to be tied in by you. They're not pre-tied in. 
So you've got your doors. There's one, and I know it's leaning a little crooked. The pull inside keeps slipping. Um, and then you have one, two, three, four, five guidelines on each of the, the tent pieces. Um, and I did put the stove in just so I could figure out where I was gonna sit, um, what it was gonna look like. So let's go inside. All right, y'all. So, uh, so far my review of the one Tigris is, it was a lot harder to put the tent up than I thought. Um, there are one, two, three, four, there are five guideline tie out points on each side of the doors. Um, and those do not come pre-tied. So you have to take the time and tie them yourself. Had I known that I would have done it at home before I got up here in the middle of a snowstorm. Um, and on the tent pole bag, you have molly webbing where you can actually hang lanterns, jackets, things like that. Uh, the stovepipe jack comes pre-cut um, and I do have my little stove in here. Uh, so my overall impressions so far are that I would be surprised. Um, it is definitely harder to set up than you would think. You have to really figure it out. And that's why I wanted to come here today first so that I could attempt it, try it without having to be out in the middle of the backcountry pulling a sled, wet, cold. I just figured let's get a camp spot, let's make life easy. So I'm gonna get this thing set up and uh, as we go through, I'll give you a little more review, but the bottom of the pole keeps slipping. So I've got a little bit of a lean, um, but it's pretty spacious so far. And uh, we'll get this thing or tidy it up and get a fire started, I'll let you know. All right, I'm really glad I went with the larger version of this uh, so that you have plenty of room inside. And I imagine as I do this more and more, my setups will get better and better. So, not bad. All right, y'all. So I am in the one Tigris. It is uh, about 4.45. I'm gonna go pull the temperature gauge in. Um, but I just wanted to give you guys, like, there's the stove. Um, the flue pipe goes up into the one Tigris piece. I have both of the air vents open. Um, and you can see that there's my chair. There's my quasi table. Um, and I would say that if I stand right next to the pole, my head doesn't touch. But if I take a step back, my head starts touching the netting. Um, it is nice that uh, it's pretty roomy down at the bottom for sure. Um, I mean, I have a full on cot down here. I'll show you guys a full tour of what this actually looks like here. Um, but overall, I mean, you know, the setup was a little more frustrating than I would have liked, but I figured it out eventually and got this thing ready to go. So. One Tigris, um, uh, just so you know, the fabric is ripstop and I would say at the base, it's probably about 10 feet from point to point. Um, and as you go up, it gradually shrinks into a teepee pretty quickly. So with my full size cot sitting out, um, and it's a big cot, it's a like, you know, old school, probably seven feet long and three, three and a half feet wide. So, you know, I think fitting two people with big cots in here would not work. Um, bomber one person, definitely if you were sleeping on the ground, you could easily fit two to three people in here. Uh, I was just telling my wife that I think when we bring the dog, we're going to have to sleep on the ground. I also have not lit the stove yet. So I'm really curious to see what that looks like once I get the stove lit. Um, and how much does it start to melt in here? I mean, I have no idea. Tonight's totally an experiment. So I'm going to go look around outside before it starts to snow too much. And uh, hopefully things just stay chill. Um, I'm having a Budweiser hard seltzer. Um, so everybody that's out there, cheers. Mm. I saw a koozie that said, this is not a beer. I loved it. I thought it was great. So I'm just going to kick it for a little while. Wait for it to get cold enough to need the stove. 
first official fire in the hot tent. So where they uh, have the flap for uh, the stove jack, it is not seam sealed. And as you can see, the whole stove jack is not seam sealed uh, on the inside. So it is definitely going to lead to some leakage through there. So gonna have to dry this thing out and seam seal that. Um, but overall, pretty, pretty nice, pretty spacious. Um, once you figure out how to set this thing up, uh, it does become quite a nice tent um, and it is really big in here. All right, y'all. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the review of the One Tigris Rock Fortress. Um, my final thoughts are overall, this is a good tent. Uh, it has some things that definitely need to be worked on. I need to seal up that seam that's leaking. Um, and you know, I think as I do this more, I'll get better and better with how I set it up. And that was definitely the first hardest part. So yeah, I mean, I'm going to give this thing a pretty solid rating so far. Uh, I would say it is definitely like an eight out of 10, um, for the price that you pay the $268 for this thing, it's a pretty sweet entry level hot tent to get started and see if you like it. Um, there's always more fancy, nicer, crazy things, but I think overall, this is a good size. It could easily fit two people inside of here. Um, and you could have cots and the stove and everything you need. Um, it's not massive. I mean, I, I guess in comparison to a lot of other hot tents, it's pretty big, but I would say that it is not the biggest thing that I was expecting. So overall, would I recommend you pick up a One Tigers hot tent? Yeah. I mean, again, I think for the price and what you're getting out of these things, they're pretty balmer. Um, I have had a good experience with One Tigers. Apparently, they don't have the greatest customer service, but I have not had to warranty anything with them yet. So y'all, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Um, please go down and hit that like button. Um, and if you're really feeling generous, go down and subscribe. Otherwise, the next time you're in the backcountry, your one tigress will not stand up no matter how hard you try. And I don't want to see that happen to you. So please go down, hit that subscribe button. All right. Be well, my friends. I'll see you in the next video. All right. So does the one tigress create condensation? Yes. Yes, it does. I mean, look at that. There is quite a bit. You definitely don't want to be touching this thing overnight or you're going to get melted on.